Hey everybody, it's been a really long time since I've made a video. I apologize for the delay. Sometimes life and the day job gets in the way. Doesn't let me to make as uh, many videos as I'd like. And uh, these videos actually take a long time to compose and to edit and get put together. Have no fear though, I am in the process of uh, preparing some new skills, most uh, specifically in the areas of stain removal and comic whitening, which has been the, the big like shock to the cleaning and pressing hobby uh, recently and one of the greatest innovations I think that we've seen in the in the hobby for a long time. So I'm going to be working on some videos. I'm going on vacation for a couple of weeks, but uh, I'm going to be working on some videos and working on some methods to show those new techniques, which I think are, are going to blow you guys away. Uh, I'll talk about those a little more when I show some uh, some examples of what I'm working on now. But for right now, for this video, I wanted to put together one of the most requested videos uh, I get, and that's uh, a results video. I post a lot of the results on my Instagram page, but I know I don't really put them on this media. So I wanted to talk about a, a couple of instances of, of our big wins and some of our washes. So I called this video, The Wins and Washes. So to get started, I wanted to show a couple of the videos I, I haven't really made with, uh, I didn't make videos for these particular books, but they're really what got me hooked. And I think, you know, very timely, uh, due to the artist, but uh, I have two books in particular. One is uh, New Teen Titans number two and a DC Comics 26. These were books I did mid 2020 uh, to send specifically for the George um, Perez signing and uh, may his memory be eternal. I, we lost a, a lot of great artists recently and uh, with, the, with the aging artists and all their great works. Uh, unfortunately, I think that that's uh, we have to take our opportunities to get signatures and to see them and, and tell them how much we love their art in the meantime. But here's two books that I decided to crack and press. These were actually from uh, my original collection that I had had graded in the early 2000s before I really knew much about cleaning and pressing books or even comic collecting in general. So I decided to take a stab at these. You can tell they're older by the old labels on here without the, the page color. So 8.0, 9.2. So we'll start with, uh, again, these are what got me hooked. So I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you why. So went from an 8.0 on this one to a 9.4 sign book. And this one uh, was more of lots of bends, lots of things that could be reversed, obviously, to go from an 8. So there, there were a number of bends on the book. <clears throat> the back cover uh, can always use a cleaning. But... Again, this was uh, one of the biggest bumps I had at the time. That's, uh, what is that? One, two, three, four grade points that, that it went up and got his signature on it. And I'm, I'm really glad in retrospect that I had sent this in. So this was a, a huge win at the time. Uh, I didn't make a video for this one, but just lots of bends, lots of cleaning that, that could be done to the cover. And I have this beautiful yellow label of, of New Teen Titans 2 signed by uh, George Perez. The other book that I sent into that signing is DC Comics Presents 26, which is the first appearance of the new Teen Titans. That was a 9-2. This one came back a 9-6, and, and I was really ecstatic about those results. Same thing on this book. Just a lot of bends, lots of pressable defects on there, and uh, got uh, George's signature right here, kind of like the way that uh, Green Lantern is kind of pointing to the, to the signature there. So... Uh, I'm kind of a fan of a little incognito signatures sometimes, and, and I like the way that this kind of blends in. When you look, you, you still see a sig on there, but this one, uh, you could use a cleaning, and then, uh, I mean, the back presents beautifully. The front is, uh, is pretty immaculate, white pages on it, and just got those bends out. So those were uh, two of the older wins. Now, one book that I did make a video about was this uh, Tomb of Dracula, and this was... Uh, a stain removal video, and I'll, I'll talk about where the stain was on there, but I'm actually, those are the methods that I'm in the process of revising. So that's what we've kind of changed in the game from what I showed before to what we do now. And that's going to be the subject of, of videos to come. So we had a, a Tomb of Dracula number one, 5.5, that I uh, picked up from Black Flag on one of their uh, online sales. This one had a stain and some bending, and this was a huge jump too. This one came back in, in 8.5. And if we turn it over, I'll, I'll post the link to that video, but you can remember this had the stain along the bottom. Uh, did not get any notes about a stain in, in uh, the regrade, so obviously I must have uh, done good enough to, to pass muster 
uh, removed that, that tied line on there the best as possible, cleaned up the rest of the back cover, uh, got out the band. This one had a really bad stacking curl, if you remember, so it had this big curl over here that we were able to get out. And this one came back uh, an 8.5, which is a, a huge value jump, uh, a huge increase in, in presentation of the book, especially removing that stain from the back cover and just cleaning it up. Uh, another uh, great artist that we lost uh, recently, Neil Adams, and, and you know I've talked about him a lot, so you know how much I love his art, but this was uh, a, a great comic, a, a really nice uh, kind of classic cover that, that has been uh, homaged a, a lot. Uh, but this was another big win. Another one that I did that I didn't post a video about was uh, a Ghost Rider one. I, I really got got lucky and got into the Ghost Rider uh, books a, a little before they started to, to heat up. This was when I picked up 5.5 white pages. I wish I had done a video on this. This one again had some bends and uh, some a, a lot of um, a lot of uh, discoloration on the back. But that one came back a, a 7.0 with white pages. So that, that was a big a big one for me as well. Again, just had a lot of bends I was able to get on the cover. It really uh, presents nice now. And uh, the, the back is, is pretty clean. So really happy. I love this Ghostwire book. This is one that's going to stay in the collection for a while. Uh, I, I thought about cracking this to, to send to the... Um, Roy Thomas signing, but I ended up deciding against that one. Here's another one. I, I believe I did do a video of this. For the ones I did a video on this, uh, I'll make sure that I post uh, the result or the post the clip to the video when I, I put the video together. But this was uh, X-Men 101. Uh, I had bought this as uh, a 5.0 with uh, white pages. Cracked it for a Chris, uh, Chris Claremont signing. Again, what I'll do is sometimes I'll look at the greater notes to see what exactly is going on with them and see if they, they uh, match criteria for a good bump candidate. And this one did with a lot of bends, a uh, um, slight crease on the cover, and uh, also a lot of uh, mentions of dirtiness on, on the back cover. So I picked this one up, I sent it to the Chris Claremont signing, and this guy came back a, a 6.5 sign. And man, does this one look beautiful with that yellow label. I love the yellow trade dress. The, he pulls out the yellows in the cover, uh, yellow label on there so we kept the white pages thankfully so we got a six five white pages uh three grade bump right there back cover looks super clean uh just really really nice and encapsulated you could see maybe they made a little boo-boo there when they uh were, were putting this in the encapsulation this right here we talked about in the video that is uh printed roller crease that you can't get out but uh was able to really clean this one up <clears throat> and just you know so you guys also see what can happen over time with some of the books that get pressed. It's really faint, but there are some creases or some bends here that, that have started to like show a little more than they were when I sent them out. So a little bit of reversion, but just a beautiful book. Uh, got it signed. Obviously you can tell that, that part of my MO here is cracking books to then clean up and send for signings. I really like signature series books. I love the artists and, and I like uh, what it brings to, to the book. Uh, another example of that, I had this Marvel Spotlight 28. Uh, not a not a really like uh, huge bump on this one, but I think this is just a, a cool book to show, and I was really happy with how it turned out. But this guy came back uh, a 9-2. I had this one signed thanks to Rich Hen for, for facilitation of this book. Uh, and, and I know I've talked about him in the past, but great person to use for doing any kind of signings and, and facilitation, especially if it's uh, Doug Mensch. I mean, he's uh, good friends with him and able to get a lot of books signed by him. And a uh, great, great story, a great writer uh, on a number of books. So <clears throat> this is one that I got uh, double signed by Doug Mensch and Don Perlin, who is the cover artist and did the internal art for this Marvel Spotlight 28. I got them, this one's been cracked twice. <laughs> Because I wanted to add Don to this, he really, it's uh, kind of hard to get him on signatures. His age is also getting up there. But again, just a great book. Uh, got a little bit of a bump, went from, you know, off-white to white pages, uh, cleaned up the back a lot. So this is a really nice presenting book. This one's hard to get into, into the high nines. Uh, I've actually done a number of these, probably, I think I've cleaned and pressed almost 10 or 11 of these in the nine range and never got past a nine six, even if they were nine sixes to, to begin with. So uh, great book, but uh, uh, not a huge bump, but just a, a great dual sign comic by the, by the writer and the artist on that one. Here's um, 
Another one that I, I sent to, to Rich Hand to get signed, this is a Werewolf by Night 33. This is a book that I, I picked up on Comic Link on auction for uh, a really a good price at the time for this, uh, for this particular grade, 6.5 white pages. I, I'm starting to pay more attention to, to uh, white pages or the color page as I'm getting more and more into the hobby. And we'll talk about that uh, when we do the whitening videos, but uh, Doug Men's story, and uh, Klaus John, uh, Jansen cover, as well as Don Perlin art. This is another one I sent again to Rich for dual signatures and was able to get uh, Doug Mensch and Klaus Jansen on it. This one came back a 7.5. So a pretty significant, uh, uh, great increase. And we got pretty much an entire 1.0 uh, bump for this one. This one had a number of bends on the cover that I was able to clean up. Uh, clean up the the back a lot, and the black the back just uh, presents really well on on this one. So I think that like even if we don't get huge bumps on stuff, like the fact that they present better overall uh, is is really a benefit to me. So uh, one of the biggest things again, you know, I've always talked about this is looking at the at the trade dress when you have white lettering. If you see dirt on there, like that, just is the first thing that I I see. So when you see a clean trade dress like that. Uh, then I, I really feel like the book presents overall uh, a lot better and it's more attractive, has more eye appeal. We got Doug's signature on there and we got uh, Claus Jansen's signature as well. Uh, this is one I didn't have signed by Don Perlin. I probably could have done that, but really cool cover. You know, Love Moonlight and uh, Werewolf by Night on there. Uh, and next to Werewolf by Night uh, 32, probably one of the, the more popular covers with this particular book. So moving on to some of our washes, and of course I have to show those with the other ones. So I did make a video about this one. I put a lot of time into this book, and you guys will remember that. I mean, it was a long video. Werewolf by Night 32, 4.0, uh, cream to off-white pages. I, I spent a lot of time working on this book and cleaning it up. I, again, had got this for a good price at the time, you know, before, when the show was ramping up and there was kind of a lull in the, in the pricing sent it off, waited a long time because I wanted it a triple sign, uh, and came back and it came back as a, a 4.0. So disappointed in that uh, when I got it. One, I guess it's not a complete wash because it, it went from uh, cream to off-white pages to off-white to, to white. So we maybe got a page color increase. But again, in these instances, I got it at a good time. I, I bought into the market at a good place and it presents a, a lot better. And if you go back and see that video, you can see all the stuff that's wrong with it. A, a bunch of that will make you scratch your head and go, I, I just don't understand, you know, what, what kept it at a 4.0. I've seen, I've seen five fives or something look worse than, than this book. And yeah, you don't know. I mean, that's part of the game we play, right? You roll the dice, <clears throat> you're, you're playing with the variability in the market. You're playing um, with the, stochasticity of grading, how it could vary from, from t person to person or time to time. There's kind of trends in that as well. So you just, so you just never know what, what you may end up with. But either way, super happy, triple sign, Don Perlin, Al Milgram, Doug Mensch. You got uh, you know the writer on here, you got the artist, the interior artist. Uh, great book, presents really awesome. Back is pretty cleaned up. I think what really killed this book was this crease right here. I mean, the, the, the page wear is one thing, you know, the spine wear, the corners, but it, I mean, it presents really well for a 4.0. What I think killed it is, is this crease, uh, unfortunately. So there's only, only so much we can do with the books. Either way, looks great, super clean. You know, Moon Knight doesn't, is, is nice and white on this one. No uh, discoloration or, or dirt on him. So uh, a great to have this one in the collection. Love that it's triple signed. Those, again, those opportunities don't come up uh, very often to, to get those book signed. So that was uh, kind of a wash, but still a win overall in terms of, of, uh, of um, getting the SIGs and all that. Here's another one, Silver Surfer 4, 7.0 white pages. This one really hurt. I bought this book. Uh, it had a, a lot of stuff I thought I could fix. There was lots of bends on the cover. Silver Surfer was super dirty, was able to clean him up. That's kind of my, my pet peeve on this book is when I see it and Silver Surfer is, uh, is dirty, it, it really bothers me. And I really wanted the custom label. You know, this was an old case, no label. 
I, I wanted to get a bump to clean this up and then uh, and, and then send this book for a great back, uh, a great bump. And I got back uh, a 7.0. I mean, badass. I got the label. Silver Surfer is clean. I mean, you can see on him, there's there's not really a lot of uh, dirt on them. He's, he's really clean. I, uh, again, got the label, but I took a, not only did I take a, a ding on, or a wash on the actual grade, but it went from white pages to off-white to white pages. And I got one piece of tape on the interior, which I have no idea uh, where that where that came from. I mean, there it wasn't notated in the notes, so they must have missed it on the first pass. I have no idea if that's the cause for the for the grade this time. I, I might actually try to uh, try this one out again and, and crack it. Uh, I just want to make sure this this label is still available. But that one bothered me, especially also because I paid for the expedited grading on this, so it, it cost a bit. I was expecting to get a, a much higher grade back, but you know, now now I got to stare at, at one piece on the cover and the and the and the page quality thing. That that one bothered me, but you know, it's again, it's part of the game. It's part of the game. For everything they catch, you know, or, or things you, you miss, then there are maybe they uh, they wash in the end uh, in terms of things that, that they do catch that you miss. Uh, here's another one. This is the Marble Spotlight 2. I believe I made a video of this as well. 6.0 white pages and put a lot of work into this one again. Oh, I did make a video because I remember I, I, I sat there and I tack ironed like every single page on this one. So that, that was... Um, I, I remember going through that process, but this guy came back again, 6.0 white pages, came 6.0 off white to white pages. And man, did I put a lot of work into this one. I mean, I, if you remember over here, like I sit there and the tack ironed every page. This one, I, I uh, think I tack ironed these pages. The, the cover was all bent out of shape. I, I smoothed that out. Went from white pages to off white to white pages. You know, I think again, this was the one that had a lot of the, the overspray here. <coughs> Excuse me, and I think they dinked me more for this on the resubmission for for some reason. So I don't know. I mean, sometimes these uh, sitting there, I kind of like don't like the defeat of them. I'm, I'm pretty competitive in nature, so it makes me I kind of always want to uh, revisit this. And now, now that I'm looking at this again, uh, probably could have sent this in for the Roy Thomas signing, and maybe would have gave me another reason to to have it. Uh, cracked. Maybe if there's another Jerry Conway opportunity or, or a Jerry Conway and Roy Thomas opportunity, uh, I'll send this in and, and uh, take the risk of, of cracking it again and maybe trying to do a little stain removal of this uh, on the cover. But either way, great book. Origin, first appearance of Werewolf by Night. Uh, again, cover art by Neil Adams. So just an awesome book in general to have in the collection. Again, you get a, get a little bit of wash. So this next one's kind of a summary of a bunch of, of uh, attempts. So I had, um, oh yeah, I, I brought them all. So I, I went through this kick for, there was recently uh, Bagley and Bendy's dual signing at CGC. And I really liked the second printing of Ultimate Fallout 4. I went a little crazy and I, I bought four, of, uh, I think three or four of them. Actually, I bought uh, three nine sixes. And I bought a fourth that was a 9-2 signed by Clayton Crane. So I sent in the uh, four books total. And I ended up getting back two 9-8s and two 9-6s. So I was really happy about that. Just to give you an example, I only brought one of them to the table. But here we are, dual sign, Bendis, Bagley. Got the awesome Miles Morales uh, label on there. Uh, White Pages, new book, of course, but, you know, I, I just thought it was riskier to buy a whole bunch of raws than it was to invest the money in the in the nine sixes. <clears throat> I found somebody that was signing a, selling a few of them, so I was able to buy them from the same seller and get myself a little deal. Um, and probably going to hold on to these a little bit until the, the market heats up for miles when Into the Spider-Verse 2 comes out, I'm sure we'll, we'll get a bump. Again, I, I really like this cover, the second print cover, where you can see Miles' face. And uh, for the price, I think this is a, a great book to have and, and one that will be pretty popular going forward. So that, that kind of does it for the ones that I had on hand that I wanted to show you guys in terms of uh, wins and washes. Um, not too many losses. I mean, I don't think that I've ever had a big loss in a book. 
Uh, worst case has been washes in them. So overall net win, I mean, if you include the grading costs and sometimes you might have, uh, might have had a, a loss in terms of value, but since the market is constantly growing and if I keep buying books that are uh, it, hot in the market, then you're not going to lose out a bunch. So uh, my recent projects that I'll talk about, which I'll, I'll share some pictures and stuff back, but I did go through a, a whole time of, of whitening some books, cracking them and sending out for Storenko signing. So I, I ended up doing three of these, Captain America 111. This is a super uh, popular cover by Jim Storenko. It's the one with Captain on the cover. It's like an all, almost all white cover. So a lot of yellowing, a lot of tanning. Uh, I'll post some before and afters. Actually, you can go to my Instagram page and see some before and afters of those. Uh, I also got an Incredible Hulk annual one that I, I cracked. Uh, and sent to, to signing and then an X-Men 50. So I pretty much got like, aside from that, that Nick Fury cover from um, uh, what, whichever book that was, I uh, think the Sergeant Fury and Howling Commandos or if I'm getting the title wrong. But aside from that cover, I think these are like the covers that he's most well known for, especially for recently, you know, X-Men 50, which is the second appearance of Polaris, that beautiful green cover. Incredible Hulk with Hulk bent over holding up the trade dress and a Captain America one. So on all these books, uh, especially X-Men 50 and Captain America's, I, I used a new stain removal and whitening process and that I'll be doing a video on. But this is uh, another one that I sent to Rich Hunt for signing. And then uh, we'll be at CGC waiting for the results of this one. So I'm super excited about these uh, coming back. Another one that I did stain removal for, I picked up on, uh, on Elite Comics on Instagram, for this uh, amazing Spider-Man 129, 4.5 off-white pages. This book had a pretty significant stain on the back cover that I thought I could remove. I was able to remove probably like 85 to 90 percent of the stain again I, I put some pictures on instagram about that uh so i was uh, able to remove a lot of those stains <clears throat> and sent this in for the jerry conway signing so i'm super excited to get this one back and uh hopefully we'll see a significant bump since i think the majority of the issue was that with that stain i mean stains really crush the value of the book so that's another one that's a work in progress we'll see what uh ends up happening to this one in the future and then most recently, after the Jerry Conway one, I, I had, uh, I told you, I, I got into the, the Ghost Rider books a little or early. I love Ghost Rider as a character. Probably one of my favorites of all times is Marvel Spotlight 5. Uh, and again, for the in terms of cover, Marvel Spotlight 6, just like incredible cover. So well, you'll remember this one. I did make a video of, of doing this, uh, trying to do a bump on this book. And I think it was a... Uh, 8.0 PGX. So again, I, I talked about not getting losses recently. This was an 8.0 or 8.5 PGX book that I cracked and sent to CGC. That one also had a significant amount of overspray from the from the uh, newsstand sprayer. And this came back as 7.5 and I was really bummed about that because I, I thought it was really clean cover, really loved it. I mean, it's one of my favorite covers. Uh, Mike Plu, uh cover art, you know, Mike Luke did the cover for both of these. You really don't see a lot of uh, signed copies of books from him. I actually have one that I sent for the Roy Thomas signing, but I, I, I was bummed about that one. So it, when I'm bummed about things and I feel like uh, I took them as a loss, then I, I will be more inclined to crack it and try again. So I ended up cracking both these books, doing stain removal and whitening uh, them. To, to make them present a lot better. And then I sent them for the Roy Thomas signing. And I'm super excited about the Marvel Spotlight 5 and uh, also 6. So you see 6, uh, you know, Roy Thomas is, is credited on the story on 5. He's not on this one, but I believe he was the editor at the time. And then there, there's debate, but at least I think it's mutually admitted that Roy Thomas and Gary Frederick were uh, co-creators of, of Ghost Rider. I can't remember, you know, the story somebody was said that Gary was the one who suggested is, is a skull that was on fire, but they, you know, they were both credited with the creation of the character. So I, I thought that it was a good opportunity. Plus the, the blue cover, the blue and yellow cover of the Marvel Spotlight 6 will look really good with the, with the yellow label at CGC. And I got the new Ghost Rider label, even though it's pretty modern. Uh, it's a Clayton, Crane, uh, Clayton Crane, uh art Ghost Rider label. 
And despite it being modern, you know, I love Crane. I saw some examples of it on Marvel Spotlight 5. And I kind of really love the, the juxtaposition of the new label, the new vision of the character with the, with the old original art. So really excited about getting this one, uh, getting these two back. Glad I had them signed. I, I'm hopefully expecting bumps on both of these. If, if I think the Marvel Spotlight 5 was in a seven range. So if I have a seven on there, I will be jumping up and down. If it stays, uh, if it goes to a six, five, I'll be even really excited. But it, it looked really good when I sent it off. So I'm excited about that. And the same with the Marvel Spotlight 6. I was able to clean it up. So, you know, that, that's it for uh, my, my wins and watches. I'll have a lot more coming. I know you guys are looking for more content and excited about the stain removal. That'll be the next big, uh, the next big videos. And it's going to take some time to put those together because, uh, uh, like I said, I have a little bit of vacation coming up. And then those, there's two particular methods. One of them is using blue LEDs to lighten uh, page color. And then the other one is called hot overlay press, where you create a, a peroxide or even distilled water overlay that you uh, adhere to the top cover of the book and then press it. And they, they come up with some amazing results. So thanks for tuning in. Again, sorry for the, for the long period without videos. But uh, look, look for some more coming up. And, and again, I still have some cleaning kits online or follow me on Instagram. I'll post more updates on there. And uh, I'll, I'll see, be seeing you guys soon.